There's one thing that almost all of us take medicines for, and that's pain. But which painkiller should we use and when? As a doctor, I'm usually giving that advice. Today, though, since I'm going to be on the receiving end of a painful needle myself, I think it's time to take a dose of my own medicine, so to speak. But is that aspirin, paracetamol, ibuprofen or codeine? Would you know which to take and when? They work in different ways, and so they're good for different kinds of pain. Perhaps the best known headache pill is aspirin. It's a really good anti-inflammatory, it reduces fever, probably works less well for headache than some of the other pills. It has got some serious side effects. It can cause gastrointestinal or stomach bleeding and pain, can cause kidney damage, and for under 16s, there's a very, very rare syndrome called Ray's syndrome that can be potentially fatal. I mean, the needle looks big. Yeah. It'll hurt, well, it does hurt. <laughs> a newer anti-inflammatory that works the same way is ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is a drug that's very similar to aspirin, so you must never, ever mix ibuprofen and aspirin together. On the plus side, ibuprofen is good for period pain, arthritis or swollen joints. On the negative side, it can cause kidney damage and stomach irritation, particularly if you're over 65. One of the things to notice is, if you put it on in a gel form, that still gets into your bloodstream and it can still cause the stomach problems and the kidney problems. I don't think either of those is for me today. But I've got two more options. Codeine's another very old-fashioned drug. It's an opiate, so your liver converts it to morphine. Now, some people actually can't do that reaction at all, so they don't get any benefits. A lot of people get side effects from codeine. It's constipating, it can make you drowsy, and at high doses, it can stop you breathing. Now, the reason you often give it with other painkillers is because codeine doesn't work at the site of your pain, it works in your brain, and in fact, it just stops you caring about the pain. Most people having a tattoo just put up with the pain, but since I'm a doctor, I might just take my own advice. The drug that I think most people with pain should start with is paracetamol. It's very effective. It doesn't have the side effects that some of the other drugs have. It doesn't make you drowsy, it doesn't make you constipated, and it doesn't irritate the stomach. The one thing you've got to be really careful about is that taking even slightly too much can cause potentially fatal liver damage. So you have to be massively cautious about that. Read the dosage carefully, particularly for children, because the advice on how much we should take has recently changed. The real benefit, though, is that because it works in a different way to all the other drugs, you can combine it with ibuprofen or codeine or both if you need to. And there's one other drug that's often included in the capsules, and that's caffeine. And it makes the paracetamol work much, much better. It's in the capsules, or you can just have it with some coffee. Right, let's have a look. That's not what I asked for.